Hey everybody, uh, Anthony Iglesias here. I wanted to make this quick introduction uh, for this documentary about my signature while raving guitar. Uh, this video was a long time coming. It was over a year of accumulating different materials, pictures and videos and things like that. And it's really a story about perseverance, about a company that under extreme strain and stresses by an invading country was still is still able to rise above and create beautiful guitars. So with that, let's get started. Ah, so who's excited? This guy, I just got the notice that my guitar is here. So I need to go get dressed because I haven't even finished my coffee yet and I need to go get it. Excited! Almost there! All right, so here's the package. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. You know, they wrapped it pretty well, which is something I totally expect from Wall Raven. They did the last time. Uh, they basically, you can see the styrofoam inside, lots of plastic wrap, lots of cardboard. Uh, you know, they did a pretty good job. So I'm going to do a fast forward of the unwrapping process and then uh, we'll take a look and hope that uh, the mail didn't destroy my guitar. Okay. Some fancy music. Oh, okay, what a mess. You ready to see it? Yeah? How about you? You ready to see it too? Okay. All right, guys. All right, you got to give me some room here. We are going to take a look at the Wall Raven. So before I open it, before I open it, uh, yeah, that took a while. They really packed it super, super well. Um, yeah, and so, you know, when I unwrap stuff like that, I like to use quality scissors. Um, you know, I don't use a straight razor or anything like that. Um, she's so curious. You curious? So here we go. This guitar has been over a year in the making, so I'm super stoked. You ready, guys? Oh my god whoa i know i know i know you want to play it before me but you can't oh my goodness all right i'm gonna pause the camera and i'm gonna get a different view for you okay i just wanted you to see what i just saw look at this absolute beauty oh my goodness so we are seeing this for the first time um, I started talking to Wall Raven um, quite a while ago, actually not long after my first Wall Raven, and started talking about di design ideas. And uh, so this guitar has been over a year. Now a lot of it had to do with the fact that they're going through a lot of really bad stuff over there with Russia and everything. Um, so yeah, you have to a lot for that time. Um, but despite all of that terribleness that they're going through, they still managed to make this work of art. I haven't even played it yet, obviously. Look at that brass, brass nut, and it's perfectly lined. Look at how they angle the, the lines there. Oh my goodness gracious, okay. Wow, okay, let's see if I can with, with my hands here, flip this over. Take a look here at the front. At the back, I mean, wow, wow, the wall raven, 
made in Ukraine. My dog just heard something. He might bark. My husky has amazing hearing. Look at this. Nine piece wenge neck. Right? Unbelievable. Okay, so as I said before, for some reason my microphone was not working. So here we are. This is my uh, custom Wall Raven. Uh, all the stuff that, that didn't get recorded. So it took a while to unbox it because they really wrapped it really well. A lot of styrofoam, tape, uh, plastic wrap, cardboard. Um, the Everything was fine. No issues there. Uh, so I wish I captured all that, but probably saved some time. So uh, I'm a big fan of sci-fi. All right, so I love like outer space stuff and techie stuff. So this was kind of the inspiration for, for designing this guitar. I wanted that kind of outer space kind of blue and then to have like a purple, purple kind of uh, nebula kind of thing in there. Uh, these are custom uh, Durth Hollow pickups, not custom as far as the wounding, but the top to match the purple, as you can see there. We've got that there, right? Nice and matchy match. The bridge sits really, really well in there. Also had the matching um, knobs put on, right? I wanted that. I didn't want just regular knobs. I wanted it to match the blue. So there you go. The uh, switch here is nice and clicky. All right, guitar is not in tune, clearly for shipping. We've got the blue 24 fret multi-scale neck. And then at the end there, we have a perfectly etched uh, a brass nut with the lockers at the end, different than the ones I have on my other Wall Raven, and also the matching headstock. Okay, very, very cool. Uh, in the back here, we have the neck through that you can see. All right. And I got a chance to kind of feel around with it, and it, it, it feels amazing. All right. Uh, and then we have over here, locking input jack. So that's really great. And let's see if I could do this a second time. Hey, I did it. The electronics look not bad. Of course, I am definitely not an expert when it comes to that stuff. So if you know your electronics, you can take a look at this and tell me if they did a good job. I will be bringing this to my tech and having him do the once over to make sure that everything is great. All right, and it, the back is magnetic, so that's really cool. It says Wild Raven. Yeah, beautiful. So what the audio also didn't pick up was as I ran my fingers here. So from here all the way up to about here, the frets are, in my opinion, really, really good. Not perfect, but good. Uh, when we get here, the frets, the, they could use maybe a little bit more... Uh, uh, rounding off. There's a little tiny bit of rough edges going on here with these frets. It's not to the point where I'd be like, oh my God, that's going to be uncomfortable. But I can feel it, uh, you know, ever so much. And so what I'll do is bring it again to my tech guy, Ronnie, and have him just kind of give it the once over and probably take him only a few minutes. He's that good. All right. Pretty nice. All right, um, from here, you can see, I'm gonna move myself, I'm on the floor, my custom Antonio Iglesias inlay. And it is uh, glow in the dark. So not that I need that, but uh, hey, why, why not? The guitar is, look at that, perfectly balanced. It's, it's not even leaning up against anything here. There you go. So that, <laughs> that's really cool, that's the first time. Uh, so I'm going to go tune this and start playing. Uh, one more thing. It's a uh, three-piece on the top. So we have this back here. I don't even remember. I have to look at the specs, which I'm sure is somewhere here. Uh, I will do that upstairs in the uh, home studio. But it's uh, the, the back wings here. And then we have, if you can get a good look here, the three layers from the back to the front. Right? And this is a... Uh, I'm not mistaken, a maple 
Um, I have to look again. I'm not really good with identifying those things. So there you go. Oh my God, I'm so happy. All right, cool. See you in a sec.
All right, so uh, I've had a chance to kind of just noodle around. I just threw the camera on and just like played random stuff uh, just off the top of my head. Uh, and uh, I have to say, I'm really liking this guitar. Clearly, this guitar uh, it has to kind of break in. It's like shoes, right? Um, the guitar was shipped last month and it took a while to get here. So you think, you know, wood guitar in a box, you know, all that stuff. So it's settling in, right? Like a house. <laughs> and that's not a bad thing. I mean, I, every guitar that I bought, you know, um, there's some settling in that had to be done, especially if it was from overseas or something like that. Uh, I will say that uh, the, the frets are really good, feels good. Um, the action is probably going to need to be adjusted a little bit because it is right now, as it stands, maybe a little too low, and which is giving me a little bit of a buzz here and there. Um, the pickups are dead, dead quiet, uh, which is amazing. Um, I'm running uh, a Gentonic from Black Cat Amps uh, pedal for my gains. I'm running the uh, Andy James tonality for the amp sims and speaker sims and some of the effects. Uh, and I have the uh, Spectre Studios uh, cock blocker to kind of clean it up a little bit, but I turned off the cock blocker and just kind of let it sit there and it was so quiet. Was really quiet compared to like a lot of guitars and amp setups. So the guitar, the pickups sound amazing. The guitar feels great. It's super comfortable. Um, one of the things that I discovered was this is different than my other uh, Wall Raven. So if I can grab my other Wall Raven here and hopefully not smash them together, you can see it's clearly different. <laughs> okay, so this is my other Wall Raven here. You notice the, the two screws there that lock it in. Same bridge, different nut. Now, put that back there very carefully. As far as the bridge, uh, the bridge, it's very easy to tune with just fingers. Don't need a pick or anything like I do with my NK guitar. Um, the volume is very smooth. Tone-wise, as far as, you know, rhythm tones and lead tones and all that, the guitar sounds and plays absolutely amazing and so with a little bit of extra elbow grease uh keep in mind you know while raven right now is is battling you know this horrible thing that's going on in the ukraine with you know the whole russia thing which sucks um and for them to be able to still pump out quality work maybe little little blemishes here or there as far as certain things like like these frets here which again not terrible just me, I like them a little smoother. And this weird tone knob that I don't feel does much. Other than that, this guitar is a work of art. Okay, uh, so my last Wall Raven guitar, the one that I got over a year ago, came with a uh, specs card, a little card that told me everything that was on the guitar. Um, my memory is not so great, so I had to contact Wall Raven because this one didn't come with the card and ask him, hey, what did we put on this guitar again? <laughs> because again, this guitar took over a year to finish. Uh, so the body is ash. The neck is wenge and maple. The fingerboard is a quilted maple. And the top is burl maple, okay? Uh, the pickups are Dirth Holler pickups, and the uh, scale length is 28 to 26.5. And I did that all through memory, which is amazing. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot for joining me on this unboxing and review of my new 8-string Wall Raven guitar. Uh, again, this guitar took over a year, uh, and Wall Raven did a very great job with it. Still going to have to make a few minor tweaks to make it exactly the way I want. Uh, but other than that, I'm very, very glad that I waited for this guitar. So if you're thinking about picking one up, contact them through Facebook. Uh, just look for Wall Raven on Facebook. And uh, they're great to work with. Just keep in mind that they are going through a lot over there. 
Uh, and so sometimes you might have uh, issues with communication, but other than that, fantastic and I'm super happy with this. Can't wait to uh, record this in the studio. Anyway, have a great day. Keep rocking, everybody. Peace.